Today, we will begin our hunt for Connor Bedard. Cars, cars, and coffee. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever and wherever you are watching. It is good to have you here. Connor Bedard made his highly anticipated NHL debut on October 10th, 2023. His first rookie card came in the form of a redemption in 2023-24 MVP hockey. Then his draft day short print card was released in 2023-24 series one. And now some of his rookie redemptions, relic redemptions, autograph redemptions, and relic autograph redemptions can be found in 2023-24 upper deck artifacts. We're we're gonna open up two blasters of artifacts and see if we can beat the odds and pull a big Connor Bedard card today. Here are the blaster boxes. Let's get into it. All right, in artifacts, you're gonna get seven packs in a blaster box, five cards per pack. Here we go. Artifacts is well known for really cool looking jersey cards, relic cards, and we're gonna see if we beat the odds here today. All right, starting off with Rupe Hints, Jared McCann. Mitch Marner red, that's numbered to 499. Mitch Marner, that's kind of cool, the blue and the red there. We got Matty Barzell and Sebastian Ajo. This is the first product of 2023-24 that I've opened on the channel. And uh, I'm excited to, to see if we can pull something big. The sky's the limit with this product, so we'll see what we can do. We got Joel Eriksson Ek, David Perron, we got a Zach Renski. That's the, I believe, the Blaster exclusive teal color there. We got Elias Lindholm and Michael Matheson. Looking for anything thick there. We got Tanner Janot, Michael Bunting. We got Tage Thompson. That's a nice, nice parallel there. And Brad Marchand and Ante Kopitar. Now, the odds of pulling one of these big redemptions is, is not good. I will post that below. But you know what? It never hurts to try. Here we go. We got Braden Point. We got Heiskanen. Another teal of Yura Slikowski. Petrano and Mario Ferraro. All right. JT Miller. Hometown Canucks are looking really good this season. We got Jordan Cairo. Yarmer Yager in 23 24 interesting okay we got bo horvat and jordan eberle uh i do not believe yager is playing in the nhl right now but alas there he is all right we got tori krug gabe velarde zuccarello with the teal matt duchene and nick schmaltz so it looks like we're getting a teal parallel, which is a blaster exclusive. Almost every pack, and we have not pulled any. We have not pulled any rookies yet. So we'll see what we can do here. Zabanajed, Bergeron, Jake Ottinger. That's a cool looking card there. Rasmus Dallin and Toffoli. All right. So lots of teal on our first blaster box. Let's see what blaster box number two looks like. So the Blaster exclusive turquoise base set cards are uh, what we are seeing a lot of right now, which is fine. I think they just, you know, put those in there to make you feel a little bit better about not pulling the big cards you're going to find in a hobby box. But you know what? That's okay. Here we go. Blaster box number two, starting off with the Cooter, Dylan Strom. There's our teal parallel there of Hurdle. And finishing it off with Jesper Bratt. All right, no thick card there. Dylan Gunther, Charlie Coyle. I'm pulling way too many cards at a time here. Ooh, there we go. Matty Barzell, red to 499. Love that. He's a hometown guy. Troy Terry and Jack Eichel. Two numbered cards, not too shabby. Nico Heischer, Stamkos, Kevin Hayes, Teal, Barkov, and Dawson Mercer. Pack number four, here we go. Tori Krug, Gabe Velarde. There we go, PD, hometown PD, having a great season. Matt Duchesne, Nick Schmaltz, and Nick Schmaltz. Yeah, it has been, well, really refreshing to watch the Canucks have a strong season. Been uh, riding with them for a long time now. Still, uh, still remember 2011 like it was yesterday. But hey, here we go. We got Zibanejad again, another Bergeron. Elite Forsberg Teal. We got our Rasmus Dahlin and Nick Schmaltz again. Another Nick Schmaltz. Nick Schmaltz, player of the day, apparently. 
Another Hints. Another Jared McCann. Ooh, very nice. Dustin Wolf, our first rookie in our second to last pack, and that's the teal parallel as well. And then we got Toffoli and another Barzell. That's our third, third one. All right, last pack. Can you imagine? Can you imagine pulling your redemption right now? I'm calling it. We'll slow roll it just for the last pack. We got Erickson Eck, David Perron, Reed Sider, Sebastian Ajo, and Elias Lindholm. After opening two blaster boxes of 23, 24 upper deck artifacts, we got a lot of teal. And by a lot, I mean a lot. We got a lot of it. Some more teal. We also got a Yarmor Yager card, so very interesting. The three big hits from these two blaster boxes. We got Mitch Marner, uh, that's the red parallel to 499. We also got a Matthew Barzell to 499 as well. And then we got our one rookie, and uh, it was not Connor Bedard, but it was a teal of Dustin Wolf. Before you go, drop me a comment down below. Do you believe that Connor Bedard is worth all the hype he's getting right now? I do, I definitely do. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later.